Well, hello again and thanks for joining us. Welcome to the 27th Cumbria Classic Nostalgia Scramble here at Home Farm. Yes, hello again and thanks for taking the time to join us. Today we're here at Home Farm in uh, Sedberg in Cumbria for the 27th annual Nostalgia Scramble hosted by the Cumbria Classic Motorcycle Club. Now uh, this could possibly be the last year uh, this Nostalgia Scramble could be held at this venue due to uh, new land ownership so uh, we will just have to wait to see what uh, 2018 brings uh, to see if it's going to be at this venue for next year. Now our guest of honour at this Nostalgia Scramble this year is of course uh, Don Rickman the uh, famous uh, frame uh, classic bike builder of the, the Rickman brothers. So uh, he will be our guest of honour, so uh, if possible we'll maybe try and grab uh, a few words with uh, Don Rickman uh, during the weekend. Now we have a lot of uh, racing lined up for you this weekend with uh, the classes from pre-68 right up to the big uh, twin shot bikes. So uh, we have a full and uh, packed uh, programme of racing for uh, today's event. Now weather forecast wise, uh, it's uh, a bit off and on really, uh, we uh, expect to have two or three showers throughout the day but hopefully not uh, too wet to uh, dampen our uh, racing event. Ok let's get right back uh, to the paddock uh, and have a look at some of the classic bikes that are soon to take part in this 27th annual Nostalgia Scramble.
Bushman and Ryder in 73, so he'll know us a lot. He's actually Brian Wade's 250. It's 1973 Husqvarna. At that time, both of them had those alloy tanks on them. This is Dina. This is a 414 Montessa Capra. The Spanish machine, of course. And it's, I know this bike quite well because it's ridden in Scotland where I commentate and it's Andy Mallet's bike. Um, in 1980, Vic Napier rode one of these and he was very successful on it. And prior to that, a very similar model, a Gen Z now, he's going to judge them. And prior to that, in 77, uh, 76 time, Andy Robert, and I before mentioned Andy Robert, he did ride one and he was like he was second and third in the British Championship on one. But they were never mega popular with the uh, ordinary rider because the, the, the 400 cc but they're very powerful and the power all comes in at once. So they're not the easiest thing to ride, they're pretty reliable for a, for a Spanish bike and Andy Mallet had to learn to ride this and he rides it very well but it's, it's not an every man's bike like a Mako. But, you know, it's, it's a good bike nevertheless, and it's, it's nice to see it here because it's a bit fairly rare. And as I say, Pete Mayfield in 1980 rode one of these fantastically well, so they will go in the right ride very well. This is another bike that's ridden in Scotland. This is Dougie Mate's bike. Um, and the, the, I know one thing that's quite unusual about this, a lot of the Matisse's you see now, they had, originally they had fiberglass tanks on them. So obviously the petrol that's used now, with the ethyl in it, it uh, rots the tank, the fiberglass. So the, the alternative to that is generally to put an alloy tank on. And some of these alloy tanks with like made in China and whatever, and the crack around the, the uh, pillar cap and whatever, around the monitor cap. But how Dougie's got around this, this tank's come from America, which you can get. I think they're about 220 quid as opposed to 500 odd. And it's plastic, so it's not bothered by the, the petrol. It's a, it's a BSA engine, I think it's uh, Roger Taylor. Doug has done the engine, not Roger Taylor, tennis player, not Roger Taylor out of the way, the drummer. Roger Taylor down south who does the BSA engines. And it's pretty reliable, and this bike wins all the time in Scotland with Dougie Meek on. And it's a, it's a pretty good machine, this. It's a 65, and the owner just said uh, it is the original fiberglass. But he skimmed the inside so it keeps the petrols kept away from eating away at the uh, at the fiberglass there. If you have the probably side by side, this looks very it's very original, it's quite a low bike. The older bikes, you know, the original 65 sort of era bikes are much lower. When you get bikes that you know they're of, of the time but ridden in modern classic scramblers, they tend to be lifted up a bit with the longer forks, this isn't too bad, and longer shocks on the back, but that's a very original one, it's uh, Scottish Classic Club supporters very well. This is Charlie Robertson's bike, and they, I don't know how long he's had it, but he's been ridden it quite a, on and off quite a long time at Arno, and this is a matchless Matisse, with a big matchless engine in now. You don't see many matchless engine Matisse's now, because I think possibly they're if you've got the gate running and they're expensive or whatever, I don't quite know the reason, but you generally see the ones like that with the drive engine in. It's nice to see that. This, is, this reminds me of uh, when I first went to Scrambles in 1966, really, and Mike Barnes, known as the champion twice, rode a match to the t just like that, it was green. And he wore a green sweater, and a uh, you know, seven-year-old boy had quite an impression on me. I want them at the time that you did see the wear this green fiberglass colour, and that's a, a match to the side. His son Scott used to ride it, Willie's ridden it as well. That's a BSA one. You notice it's a, it's a square barrel BSA rather than a round barrel, but they are sort of allowed now. We're allowed in Scotland to 368. We've gone to 368 in Scotland rather than 365, and that's the regular. Fiberglass on it. The frame's not that much different, but this is the classic Mark III, which you watch in the old scene, really. And at the end here, we've got number 318. Now that's a star maker Matisse. I don't know if it's an original one, I presume it's a, a modern one. You know, it is like the original bike that it's been made for the last few years, I would guess. But in 67, uh, Freddie Mays rode one just like that. Andy Robert at the same time rode one. It's a Spirit Star Maker engine. They weren't the best engine at the time. 
Uh, within later years, when Trust Brown brought the company of course, when he put that engine in the coffin, she got six family, she got that in hell. It's a quite a good bike, and of course, she's still got the ring with frame that's, you know, handles beautifully. Yeah, um, I'm uh, obviously a fairly well known sort of bike builder, um, but I've got to say, all the bikes I try and build are um, race bikes uh, to try and win races. We've been a lot tomorrow, we might be in sharp end, but who knows. But uh, basically, these two holders that I've built, um, Barry Turnbull rides number 10, he's leading the um, national championship at the moment by 72 points. And uh, I managed to have a word with uh, a young lad from Cumbria, Jamie Law, he's going to come and ride number 25, which is his number. Uh, to my uh, business partner, Rob Chadwick's bike is that. Um, Rob's the guy that sources us with everything from sort of the footrests and the front of the seat backwards, it's 1981 uh, 419 make of geometry. So, why change something that doesn't need fixing, you know what I mean? The make were very successful at that time and probably one of the best motorcycles, two stroke motorcycles out of the crate that you could possibly have, hence why we've got so many about today. And Bill Brown still, you know pushing the Makos and they are still very competitive. I wouldn't say the Ondas are any faster. I would probably say they're slightly better put together engines wise, you know, you're not on a, uh, a chain primary, you're on a gear primary, but you know, it's that's the way the things went, you know. Um, there's a beautiful Mako in the say he has in the past, he's had it in the concourse. Um, very competitive bike, I mean, that's basically, from the footrest back is what our Ondas are. If you look at the kink in the swinging arm and all the rest of the length of the shocks, it's, it's just a carbon copy of those. Um, but yeah, lovely bike, that one of Steve's. Looks like he's uh, spent plenty of time with the old uh, water glim, Dura Glitter or whatever, polishing. Yeah, some people are keen on polishing, I'm not, I've got to say. But anyway, we're all different. But yeah, lovely bikes, absolutely. Um, are we down to the judging, Richard? Right, well, um, what I've got to say, there is, is it just a first place, first place promise, Richard? Well, yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, I've got to say, I've got to pick a taste, yeah. He's told me to judge. He's told me to judge, yeah, but it's just pick a taste. I've got to say, um, I'm really, I'm drawn to this number 45 bike. When it came in, I just thought, it's a beautiful thing. Um, it's a lovely put together bike. I mean, I, I always look at bikes and I, I always look into the details of bikes. Um, I'm one of those that when you look at a bike, um, many a time I look at bikes and I think, yeah, I've seen all that before. But I've got to say, that is a lovely put back to bike that's been put together very well. And, that's my winner for today. But having said that, if there was going to be a second, it would have been the two-stroke, is it a, a Star Maker motor in it on the end there, um, which is also a beautiful bike. And if I was going to pick a third, it would be number 12. But it's originality more than anything. Um, you know, it's, it's a beautiful bike, it really is. So, you have to be to judge it. There you go, don't shoot the message. Thanks for that, Jim. Yes, I did say pick up a tea, so just then, give it easy with three, so we're three more again. And this, the winner of this one, it is Dougie Mates bike. I said there wasn't going to be a prize, but if he wants it, I will uh, get it into his here tomorrow with the, uh, with Motocross Royalty, Don Rickman. The Rickman's Don and Derek Mick built these Matisses, as well as being absolutely world class riders in the 50s and 60s. Yeah. They're Motocross. Oh, yeah, we've had a bunch of good rides. We can just make this. If you make anything in the last quarter of an hour, polish it up, and uh, we're going to present it for Dougie. Dougie's a friend of ours in Scotland, he's a great fellow. Dougie, the builder from Douglas. And uh, he's, he's a winner in Scotland, he likes this bike as well. Go ahead, go ahead. Very well done. And, uh, Thank you. He wins every week. Oh, yeah.